Hi, I'm Brennan from Waffles Community Robotics, and I'm going to talk to you about some of the little tricks and tips, I suppose, that are um, that can be used for the EV3 software. So, if we pull out this, if you go to Help and then go to Show Context Help, this is a helpful tool for you to have out all the time, just to show you some information. Basically, whatever you hover over this uh, little dialog box will tell you basically what it does and that works for any block really and if you want to know more information it'll uh, take you to the built-in EV3 help if you click on that which is the same thing as show EV3 help so if we move that there the other thing is if you hold the alt key you can pan without having to click on the pan tool. It kind of gets annoying to go pan, and then like, oh, I gotta move the block, and then oh, I gotta pan over more, you know. Just if you click Alt or hold Alt and click at the same time, you can drag it around, just like panning. If you go to your project settings, you can insert a picture to it to your project and that picture will show up when you go to open recent on file and uh, if you have a picture inserted it'll show you that picture in there so it'll help you identify the the uh, program by its picture the other thing that's uh, kinda useful is if you use the show checkbox I guess um, its default is to uh, show automatically so the check is in there when you uncheck it all it won't all pop up when you open up the program because normally when you open up the project all your programs my blocks everything will uh, open up but when you take out that show basically what that does is when you open up your project again it won't open up all the ones it'll only open up the ones that have the show check marked so Often uh, you don't want some my blocks appearing, and that's kind of nice to do. So it's not as cluttered. Once again, export, import, and delete, and copy, and paste, and stuff. That's all useful. Um, you can change your project title, which will change once again out here. And sometimes if you zoom in really close for no apparent reason, and you want, instead of uh, pressing it a million times, you can just go back one to one, which is going to reset your zoom, like so, and you're back to normal. The other thing is when, you're, um, when your brick is point plugged in, you can have all your port inputs, so you can look at all that stuff. There's an app for it on the EV3 itself, but this helps you look at what the robot is sensing when you are actually plugged in or connected to it via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth.